Welcome back to Thionite Plays Xenoblade Chronicles 3 on the last episode. We did a bunch of side quests in Colony Lambda and we also finished up our monster extermination quests in Colony 4. We made a lot of progress towards the side quests in Colony Lambda and everywhere else in the world last episode because we freed Colony Lambda. Lots of stuff happened. Well, the episode before last. In this episode, we're finishing up a quest that we started last time. We rescued, well, we didn't rescue, but we kind of talked some sense into Colony Lambda's offseer, Shima, Sh Shijima, Jimmy. We saw, J we made Jimmy see the light, and now we're going to uh, give the good news to his partner, Moraine. Hopefully, she is very grateful. Oh, hopefully nothing bad has happened. Noah, over there! Agnian soldiers? Are those Agnes soldiers? This is bad. That's where Moraine is. Let's hurry. Let's oh, we got we gotta fight them, apparently. Well I'm sure everyone else can deal with this because it is even though there are five, we are eight. Seven. Seven and a half. Riku and Manana, even if they stood on each other's soldiers. Soldiers? Sol Language! It's escaped me. Congratulations. What, like less than a minute? Less than two minutes into the episode? Oh, that, that bodes well for conversations this this episode, doesn't it? How are my healers so low on HP? It's probably because I reset everyone's levels. We're, we're level 30 now. I wonder if we have unlocked... I believe it's the second accessory slot. If I'm not mistaken... Just don't go in the chain attacks. There's only two left. This one's nearly dead, and this fight is nearly over. Even though Lands is um, defeated, we're not going to lose. We're just too powerful. Get out of here, Agnes Duo Blade. Why are you fighting me? Like, we did nothing wrong. We came out here to intentionally help everyone. To get your officer back. Oh, I guess we dodged a bullet there. Even though uh, we didn't know bullets needed to be dodged. Where'd they come crawling out of, anyway? Scratch that. Where's Moraine? Is she hiding? Did she run? It doesn't look like she was attacked. Let's search the area. We have to find her. Because apparently, random Agnian troops are going to, to, to fight us. Uh, if I was a Moraine, where would I hide? Oh. Uh, Behind the rocks. Probably a smart idea. Moraine! Oh! She looks fine. I hid as soon as I saw those soldiers coming. I'm not much for fighting. Glad to hear it. <laughs> After being off seeing partners with you for several years and several long terms, I'm just now learning that you're averse to fighting. I'm very happy to finally be learning this about you. You came back. Yeah, I did. Uh, this uh, Horoboros group is uh, pretty persuasive. Also, the one with wings threatened to clobber me if I didn't. I'm not sure what you were hoping to achieve by going to the castle in the first place. Aiming for the impossible is unlikely to end in the way you hope it will. Huh. I think you should go home and talk about what happens next with the people you care about. Talk it out with Moraine. She was worried about you, and the least you can do is respect those feelings. I know, Moraine. I'm sorry, I... It's okay. Let's go home. Everyone knows things are hard for you. Offseers do not have an easy life. They have to deal with such heavy emotions. Thanks. And thank you too, Team Ouroboros. I wouldn't have been able to do it without you, and we start off the episode strong with a quest completed. Look at all that EXP. Oh, very nice. Would you believe it? Oh, and a bunch of affinity with Colony Lambda. That's amazing. Oh, and I was correct. We do unlock our second slot. I am going to save that for probably between episodes when I can give that more thought. Oh, and even our heroes get them. And our heroes auto-equip, which is a thing that happens. 
we don't need to worry about that at the moment. Uh, but now the question is, what next? We're almost certainly going to be doing a few more side quests. We can't do Nopon Registry because that's go Register. Registry? Eh, it works the same. We could probably finish up these two quests. Let's see where Lean Times in Colony 9 and Forgotten Supplies gets us. Because uh, we're, we're well past the level for doing both of those. And if we have time left over, we can go back to Colony Lambda and see what's going on. But where is this quest? Murmur Rise. Is that still in the Forness region? I don't believe it's in the Forness region. I think it is in the Etier region. Um, if I'm not mistaken, where is Murmur Rise? Murmur Rise is over here. Can we get it? I do wonder. Where is... Ooh, 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 maybe. Uh, we'll go... We'll go here. Alright. In Shark Jaws Cape. Oh, it's all the way over there, which means... Ooh, that is a thing. Oh, I remember. I remember. I remember. We are in the wrong area. We have to go... Where, how, how, where, and why? We have to travel, we have to go from Kamo's guidepost all the way up past there, which might mean we have a different thing to focus on. This is what you get for not, not plotting out your route before you take it. Detours and unexpected circumstances arising at a moment's notice. Either way, we definitely have to go up this, uh, patch of ivy flowers vines this uh heretofore unknown plant what the ether channel well we are picking up the ether channel don't you worry about that but yeah we are also going to climb the mysterious foliage time for a climb. yes you need is time for a climb do, 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 do. i love the music in this game it's so good all of the Xenoblade games have really good view. View? Murmur Rise. Music. Lots of... Everything about this game is great. Well, not everything, but... <laughs> Don't you worry about the stuff that I think is not great. Everything is at least passable. And isn't that high praise for a Xenoblade game? No, no, no. I want to be positive. I want to be positive about this game because I love it. I like it a lot. Uh, Murmur Rise. So, I do recognize this area as... Oh, there's the sword. As a very long, kind of straightforward path. But, I do believe there's something around. Can I... I can do that. Oh, we can... Uh, we'll come back to that. We might... We'll come back to that. Don't, don't you worry about that side quest. It'll happen eventually. I can guarantee it. We are absolutely going to avoid all the blants because I want to do some side quests. Give me my side quests. Hopefully, I can do a lot of the side quests enough to the point where we can get a little bit more story in the next episode. I might make a, like a quick shot loop around all around the other three colonies, 34 and 9, just to see if anything's changed. Maybe because we freed Colony Lambda, we got some new gossip. And we all know how much we love gossip. Because, oh boy. The second you come across gossip, you're going to find side quests. And we're just going to very sly and stealthy, like, just squeeze past these Kavesi troops. Because we do not need them. We don't need that confrontation. Oh, the nice swelling coral, like choir coral, not coral. What do you, what do you, the joke coral? Walking Dead meme. Can't believe we've actually found it. It was exactly where they said it would be, Uni. It's, it's not that hard to believe that we found it. Looks like monster territory, though. Eh, it should be fine if we're all contending with it. What, were there monsters? I completely overlooked the monsters if there were any. Oh, it's just three Greebles. They can't even open the hatch. Like, they're only level 28. It's not a concern. 
All we have to do is just like power charge, smash, strike, saber, strike, smash. Uni's arts are fantastic. Well, I should say Ethel's class arts are fantastic because they work really well in conjunction with each other. You use cross impact, power up your charges, you got your null slash, which is like pretty much a critical hit city, baby, and then you pair them with something else. and It's just really easy, given the proof positive, the fact that this fight is now over. Stop right there. Ah. Wait, Noah? Trish? I guess we've both had the same idea. You're after it as well. On Kite's orders, we were going through old logs and came across a container that was never found. What a coincidence. We'll be taking back what you found. So hand it over nicely. You have two ticks. I uh, I mean, yeah, sure. It, it's, it's all going to the same place. It, it's going to the colony resources, right? I mean, as long as the colony gets it, I don't care. I don't care who gets the credit. We plan to take it, take it to Colony 9 from the start. Yeah, exactly. It's going to people who need it. But if you were looking for it too, then it's better if you take it back. We will. But you can't go empty-handed. You deserve something for getting the monsters out of the way. Well, we can take the greeble meat. We got lots of loot from the greebles. How kind of you. What, did you want to be the one to lug the giant heavy chest all the way back to Colony 9? We have to climb down a mountain, Lands. I mean, I get you're strong, but like, down a mountain, Lands? Yeah, fine, Noah, fine. Anyway, we have other places left to investigate, so we'll head off. See you later. So, it's not much, but do we take this to Camilla? Yeah, we do. Consolation prize. Well, I mean, again, it's it's all going to the colony, so it's not like it matters. Wait, is there a thing? Mm, mm, I don't. Nah, it's a pretty short run all the way back either way. So, call it, call it, call it, colony, colony nine. Right, that's the colony. Should we jump down? No, we're not going to jump down. Where's the colony? Oh, it's a long ways away. We can just uh, hop, skip travel, and a jump all the way to Colony 9. Ah, oh, Fox. Let's talk to... What does the Fox say? You've royally snuffed things up for us coming back out of the blue like this. Oh, come on, what are you saying? We've made it so that you don't have to fight anyone anymore. Oh, you think you got it all figured out, have you? You don't have a clue how close you brought us to ruin. The colony is trashed, my friends are dead by the wayside, and now we've even made an enemy of the castle. Everyone is starving and dying by the boatload. It's just getting worse and worse. Wow, this fox is, um, pretty, pretty sad. You probably don't want to make, make conversation with the foxes. Camilla, we brought, we brought stuff. It's not much, but... What? Thank you so much! Actually, Eastman came in earlier with some supplies in tow. Look at this. When Kite says he's going to do something, he really does it. No wonder Zeon values him so highly. I'm sure there were more supplies than that. They didn't pocket some for themselves, did they? Maybe we have to go have a chat with Kite. Huh. Would you believe it? Oh, I see, I see question marks all around. Oh, wait, one of them, I know which one of them is. One of them is the one we passed by, right here, and then the other one is the one close, closer to home. Well, someone's home. We haven't actually been to Mio and Senna's colony yet, but we will, we will. Lean times of colony and I, we, we need Xeon back, and we already cleaned out Guernica's wreckage, haven't we? 99% sure that we did. So we have to go back to Everblight Plain. Scavenge some stuff from over there. Oh. And there's one right there. And an airdrop. 
which we'll get eventually, maybe. There's some good in eat in here. Rations? I suppose. It's technically eating. Whether or not they're good is up for debate, personal taste. I'm pretty sure Manana would find it lacking, but to each their own. I'll just take this. Kavesi Infantry Exosuit. We're exploring the deep, dark reaches of space. Put on your exosuits, people. We wouldn't want to get trapped outside the airlock. That would be awful. Where are we going? Over here, there's another one. Oh, I see it. Rations of food or something else. Some good eating. Oh, more rations. Hopefully, the rations that we find for one soldier, we can make them stretch for more than one soldier. I'm sure the colony will be able to get by. This is practically brand new. Yoink. Yoink. The the exact opposite of yeet. Yeet and yoink. They're, they're equal but opposites, and they're equal in the way that they're fast. Where else are we going? There's another one all the way over here. Are we strong enough to fight some of the stronger enemies that we saw? Because I remember when we first came... No, we're not. 43 is still a bit beyond us. This is practically brand new. Lamellar armor. That's stuff for... Uh, Lamellar is... Wait, where are we going? What, 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 what are we doing? Did I miss one? Where did we miss one? There's no way we missed one. Where? I refuse to believe that we missed one in the camp. Nine out of ten. We didn't. There. I don't. I don't believe it. I don't believe that we missed one. Where could we have missed one? It, there's no way. Um. I am at a loss. Gather some supplies in the old battlefields. I didn't. Mi it has to be here on Everblade Plains. I'm not going to make you guys sit and watch me uh, blunder about trying to find it. I'm just going to. Uh, I'm just going to poof you guys. Oh, never mind. I found it. I was going to poof us right over here, but we got real lucky. It's like looting their resting place. Not pleasant, however you look at it. That's exactly why we should save all the lives that we possibly can. Not pleasant, but necessary. Look at that fallen Veronis. Probably have to come back there later for some... Some reason or another, I'm sure we'll find and or make a reason. Either way, uh, Camilla, I know we just came and just left with um, some consolation surprise plies, supplies, surprises, lots of uh, conflicting words, but we're back again. We got some even more supplies, food, armor, technology. Hopefully this will help. Camilla, I know, like, like I said, here, we got some more supplies. Is there anything you need? Though let me be clear that we're pretty limited in what we've got on hand right now. We want to leave this with you, if that's okay. I mean, uh, of course, Commander. Whoa. It's all food and supplies. How in the world did you... Mm, doesn't matter. I'll make sure it gets to those who need it in the colony. Everyone is starving, and having more rations will... Well, it'll keep them fed, if not happy. So, I'm sure they'll appreciate not starving. Thanks, Commander. No problem, Camilla. Hey. Huh? Where the spark did you get that? Um, some some old battlegrounds, uh, Everblight Plain, and um, where that, that ship crashed from that one op that ruined everything and everyone's life. And don't feed me some crap about you just finding it lying around, because that won't fly with me. Well, in that case, we had to venture into a giant uh, Crabble's cave, where we, we had to defeat the Crabble, 
uh, we ripped off its shell and it was hiding a bunch of loot in a secret tunnel in its cave and we had to kill uh, well we didn't have to kill anything we kind of just had to sh like shoo the bonnets out of the way and then we could just get to all the loot what why why are you looking at me, at me like that kite that that's exactly what happened you saw things couldn't last here and nicked it from someone else didn't you while we while we were forbidden from doing it uh, n no, like I said, the crabbles and the bonnets. We found it in a cave. It fell off of a truck, Kite. A truck in Everblight Plains. What? You're saying that we should loot and pilfer stuff to survive? Well, I mean, they're not gonna use it. Well, what are the alternatives? Survive by taking from the living, even though you don't need to fight anymore? Ugh. Don't touch any of this stuff, Camilla. It's poisoned. This is blood supplies. We can't accept this. Look, people are starving. They are eating shoe leather. Le lever, leather. Ugh. We are one step away from cannibalism and we don't have Colony 4's burrito recipe. Now that the colony has been freed, things can't go back to the way they were. I agree with them that this is, this is the way to keep everyone in the colony alive. Camilla... Zeon, if you're thinking of going along with this, you can... Meh, 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 Camilla! Camilla, Harala seen list of goods arrive. Harala, wait for this day so long. Can repair all levenesses at long last. Okay, Harala, calm down. Zeon, we aren't the only ones who aren't happy with your way of doing things. I mean, the Napon seem pretty pleased. If her all is anything to go by, I'm sure people would like to eat. It's just till the shortages are all sorted out. Don't get so worked up about it. I understand Kite's opinion, though. We need those fields in working order, and then everything will work out. It's only a matter of time before we can make this colony self-sufficient. Huh. Would you believe it? What the... Oh, gossip, gossip, gossip. Fox has been coming by a lot lately. It's also really helped to reduce the amount of soldiers making stupid requests of Camilla. More food issues. Oh my gosh. Can people just not survive by it without us? Fox, has anything changed? What are you saying now? What are we supposed to do if we bring Camilla something from the battlefield and then someone kicks up a fuss about it? If anything goes wrong, this is on you, you hear? Don't make trouble for Camilla. I, something tells me she's more than well equipped to handle any potential trouble that comes her way. Got a feel for Rold getting dragged into arbitrate over yet another dispute. You mean between Lenny and Eastman? Felt like Eastman was just probing Lenny about his suspicious, suspicious, suspicious behavior, no? Oh, this is a completely new topic. Why is everyone in every colony such relentless gossips? Pollux. Oh, there's two more. I can try and imitate the commander's fighting style all I want, but I'll never be as good as him. He'll stop enemies with his shield, then use their attacks to strengthen himself and grow stronger when things are dire. Why don't you just ask Xeon to teach you? I'm sure he'd be more than willing. Not a chance. He's so busy. He's not really the, uh, the approachable type. Not like you guys. No oh, more gossip. We'll be fine. I'm sure Fox and the others will solve the food shortages soon enough. Well, they are constantly searching for supplies. Yet more gossip. That victory over Sigma feels like an age ago now, don't you think? Yeah, lots of stuff has happened. Sure does. I'd have never dreamed back then that things would turn out like this. All of us starving, toiling away in the dirt and the mud, trying to make crops grow. Even if we get it to work, we'll have nothing but radishes and... Who can survive on radishes? I want to see what Earl's on. How, how are you doing now that we, uh... Gave you a new worldview. You know, when you open up about the stuff that's bothering you, you feel a whole lot better. I don't really know what I can do for everyone at Colony 9 right now, but I intend to try a few things out. Well, I'm glad you're uh, attempting to work things through. It's always a good thing. Relying on carry will absolutely help. But apparently, today is all about gossip, so... No, we're not going for food, Uni. Don't worry about that. We need, we need to, oh, what, what happened? 
Why, why is there four of them? Oh, whatever. Only two of them have side quests, because of course. Um, Wouldn't be a Xenoblade game without side quests. No, was it your colony that fought Colony Sigma at Everblight Plain? Yeah, it was. You've heard about that battle then, huh? Everblight Plain. Now that's a name that keeps coming up. It seems to be the battlefield of choice for a lot of colonies. I imagine it's because the open wasteland there is perfect for large melees that even Veronises can clash in. No wonder it's so blasted to ash and dust. Not a single braid... Braid? A braid of glass. Yes. A glass braid. Now that is a style of hair that only someone with fiery hair might... Senna, get over here. I have an idea. We're going to have a girl's day and we're going to braid each other's hair. What you, no, we're, talk, we're talking about battlefields, Uni. We're, why are you getting off on this tangent? Until we can put an end to the fighting, it'll stay that way, true to its moniker. Blighted forever. Terrible, terrible things. I hope one day the war will be over and it can grow lush and verdant, just like Zana Plains. One can only hope. Now we're talking about... What, Gossip in Colony 4? Say, you know those Aspar things? Giant snakes that regenerate their health by shedding their skin? They really make my skin crawl. Just thinking about the way they, their beady eyes look at you from any angle and they, they have their forked little tongues. They're... Oh, I know. I heard you retching the last time we fought them. When I saw them in Aegis Wilderness, I was like, well, there goes breakfast. All of Manana's hard work, all of that delicious battle soup, just on the ground. What a waste. And what's the stuff they vom up? Because to me, it looks just like... Stop! Not one more word, I beg you. I'm already 105% creeped out. Okay, turning it around then. What's a monster you like? Well, duh. Pepitos, clearly. Their fluffy fur just gives me life. I will hear no objections on this. What about you, Senna? Senna, love. Ferrises. Beg your pardon. Ferrises. They're just so cool, okay? And they have those massive triceps. I kind of wish I was one, honestly. Uh, I see. Well, I suppose there's no accounting for taste in it. And speaking of the taste, have you ever had a fer Ferronis? A, a, a Ferris steak. Mmm, Ferris steak with some nice, uh, zap shroom. Uh, zap shroom, I'm pretty sure, is a thing from a Mario game. Not Xenoblade. Either way, garnish those things with some fried mushrooms and you're golden. Right then, strategy meeting. Let's talk about Colony 9's food issues, because apparently we might have solved it in the very, very, very short term. People in Colony 9 really aren't happy with the current food situation. Even now they're released from the flame clock, this is all they whinge about. Food this, I'm hungry that. Why aren't there any food? We're going to die, we're going to starve, it's a terrible, ah... That's what they're all about. It's just, it's, you get tired of listening to it every time we go past the barracks. It's just nothing but grumbling stomachs. It'll take time for Xeon's field to yield a harvest. Don't worry, it'll happen eventually. They'll survive until then, most likely. It probably isn't just Kite who's worried about the shortages. If we let it go on as they are, one day things will explode. Will it explode or will it kind of just wither away like everyone's stomachs. Actually, I've caught wind of some nefarious scheming going amongst, going around amongst the soldiers. Well, really? What kind of stupid fox? Uh, of course, say no more, Zeon. Of course it would be fox. He's apparently working on a plan to plundering the plunder the neighboring colonies. How could he? Sparks. I don't suppose a good punch in the mouth would convince him. I hope we're in time to stop him. Is Kite involved? If he is, then this whole thing gets even bigger and messier. People love Kite. He's always looking out for the rank and file, so they absolutely adore him. I see. Then perhaps Kite might be able to persuade Fox not to go through with it. Who knows? But we should be able to find them. We should be able to find them, find them hanging around in the canteen. Then let's go find them and have a chat with them. And by chat, I absolutely mean with our mouths, not our fists, lands. We're not socking people in the jaws just yet. And if we do have to resort to that, we're getting Senna to do it. She has a really big hammer. 
But yeah, speaking of hammers, did you guys see Eleni and Eastman's row? They broke out the hammers. They were like, they were like the soft, spongy hammers, though. They were just bonking each other on the head. It was really weird to watch. They had, they were they were making squeaky sounds and everything. Did you hear the goss? Eastman and Eastman, Eastman and Lenny. They've been butting heads. They got drunk that one time. Lenny shot up a town, stole a cow. That's an unusual match. What happened to the cow? Maybe we can eat it. Eastman lashed out at at the idiot for some reason. Didn't like Lenny keeps keeping secrets or something. Not one for patience, is he? Hmm. What sort of secrets was Lenny keeping? Where he put the cow, for one. We have to find the cow. We have no idea what he's feeding it. But he is feeding something. Feeding it something, because, um... He keeps sneaking out. I don't know if he talked to us, but it can't hurt to try if you're worried. Right. Apparently, we've got to find out where Lenny is keeping the cow. We really need it. We can make cheese and milk. And when it gets too old, we can make some burgers. Apparently, it's really close, though. Oh, I think we have to talk to, what, Kite? Kite, we have some gossip for you. Please do something. Kite, where's Fox? What? We're not joined at the hip like you lot, you know. Oi, oi, oi. All right, pack it in, big guy. We didn't come from scrap. Like I said, Senna's got the hammer if we need it. Queen's sake. So, have you got business with Fox, then? We just heard something a little troubling, that's all. Hmm. We went to gather a hunting party. Hunting? Do you know where he was going? I don't know the details. Oh, but he probably went to check on Melnath's shoulder root. Check the Melnath's shoulder root. Wait. But across from Melnath's shoulder from here, that's... This won't end well. If we take his destination as the colony nearest to Melnath's shoulder, then he's almost certainly heading to Colony Gamma. What? We have to go after him. What? What are you talking about? Where are you going? Guys, get back here. Answer me. Would you believe it? Who else is around? Um. Shared secret? Where is, where is he? Oh, he's over there. Okay, we can find him, interrogate him about the cow, and see where he's putting all the cheese. If he is hiding away any mozzarella, Trader Pond. Talk to me, Trader Pond. Please to look very closely at an array of wonderful products. Stop by in the future. Every point matters extremely much like. Yep, that is a string of words that just came out of my mouth. Lenny, Lenny, please, I need to talk to you about the cow and the mozzarella. Where are you putting the burgers? Or, well, the cow. The burgers will come later. So, heard you had a run-in with Eastman. What, you're not here talking to, to, to ask about the cow? I mean, Zeon's already, he's already been down my throat about the cow. That news reached even you lot, did it? So, you come to visit me because you're worried? Well, no need. It wasn't anything big. We just had a... A, li a little row about what to do with the cheese. He wanted to make cheddar. I wanted mozzarella, but the cow kind of escaped. What do you mean it escaped? Yeah, I asked Ellis for a favor. I needed him to track down the cow. He's a great hunter. Eastman happened to show up looking for me, and when I snubbed him, he got a bit mm, ticked off, so to speak. The stupid cow, it's rubbing off on me. It's a really sassy cow. Asking Ellis for a favor, huh? Oh, just something to do with the future of Colony 9, you know, uh, tiny, non-important stuff. What What was the favor? I can definitely share it with you if you're curious. That is what we just asked, Lenny. I was thinking about my dead team, and... Please tell me you're not feeding the cow your dead teammates. It's not going to survive long on that kind of diet. I remember that Marlin said he had something about fine had said something about finding some gear that didn't come from Agnes or Keves. We might be able to use it for Colony 9, right? Unknown military equipment might hold useful secrets. Wait, so where does the cow come into play? I thought Ellis would be able to go looking for it in Eleveness, so I asked. Sounds mysterious. I, it's not It's not that mysterious. I, I take the Leveness, go out, look for supplies. Try and find the cow. Interest peaked? Not peaked? Peaked. Well, if that's the case, go find Ellis. She sent me her coordinates to, 
to my iris, and I can send it to yours, because that's how irises work. Huh. Would you believe it? 250 meters away. Alright, for you, it's going to now be approximately zero meters away. Wait, oh, more, more gossip, more gossip. What is with all the gossip? If a good thing, it's a good thing there's so many herbivore monsters out here in Zana Plains. Yeah, if it was full of types that go after people, we'd never manage to fight them off in our current state. Yeah. Herbivores. It's only because they haven't got the taste of flesh that they're not hunting meat. Either way, either way, now it's going to be zero meters for you. Found Elevness. Ellis. Found Ellis as well. She's surrounded by Flamese. We've got to save her. Ellis! Holy crap, no, you scared me half to death. Don't surprise me like that. Have you been talking to Lenny? Has he brought up the cow again? I don't know why he's so obsessed with that thing. It's not even real. We think he got bonked on in the head. That girl you're traveling with, she has a hammer. Is she the one who bonked him on the head? So this is the thing? Uh, yeah, clothes. Gear, apparently. It's from people not affiliated with Agnes or Kevas. I mean, look at the color. It's green. No one's uniforms are green. You can tell it's different from Agnes's gear, right? Like I said, the coloring. It's not Kavesi either. Again, I point to the coloring. Interesting. This equipment. It looks like Gernica's. So I guess... I was looking into it before you all came by. There's nothing usable in it, nor are there any clues as to who it belongs to. Best guess that we have is someone stripped naked to go swimming and then they got killed by piranha axes. They're very tough around here, you know. At any rate, it's so mysterious, I don't want to let it go, so I'm going to report it to Rold. Good plan. There's only like two outfits, but I'm sure we can make use of them. We can't just leave this stuff either. Should we bury it again? Did, did, you, did you bury it the first time and then unbury it? Wait, isn't this a mysterious key card? We should report this to Lenny. Huh. Would you believe it? Would I believe it? I probably would believe it. Uh, Considering we, uh, we just we just did it. They were right there, Uni. We found uh, them. Uh back to Lenny. Uh instantaneous transition. Lenny, we found the suits. I said we found the suits. How'd it go? We found the suits, as I said, for the third time. We verified that it was definitely not from Agnes or Kevas. I knew it. But that's about as far as we got. All we found was this card. Hmm. I was hoping we could learn something that would improve Colony 9. Oh well. As for the card, you found it, so you can keep it. You're sure about this? I mean, the absolute best we could use the card for by ourselves right now is to open up some really unsecure locks, but... I mean, honestly, Noah, what do you think it's going to do for us? Magically swipe it and food will fall from the sky? Yeah, you can keep it. Thanks for the help, I appreciate it, though. Even though you didn't find my cow. I guess I should go straighten things out with Eastman. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Apologize for the cow, I, we, we know now it's not real. Gold necklace, oh my gosh. Uh, but we also have more quests. A difficult transition. Right, we have to go save Fox. Um, I believe we might just end the episode with this quest. So however this turns out... Oh, it's dropping us real close to another quest. But we also are able to skip travel real close to it, so that won't take long at all for us to do, hopefully over here right we just need to cut through Guernica's camp once again at this rate we might as well set up like a like an FOB over here we can just retrofit the if Mia's thinking turns out to be true, then... yeah they'll probably over, be over here we can retrofit why are you interrupting me Zeon that's not a good mark of a good commander we can retrofit this area loot the supplies turn that into a turret and we have a good base Well, it's not common, Senna. What, the puzzle tree word or the panda? 
I don't see any small, cuddly animals. Well, I'm sure we'll find out. Fox! What the heck are you doing? It's you! You can't attack other colonies. You can't attack the other colonies. You can't attack them, Fox. Do you understand the words I'm saying? So you heard then, huh? We did. If you're going to try and get in my way, then get ready for a real fight. Oh, Fox, now you've done it. We're going to beat you black and blue. Get back to the colony, soldier. That's an order. Oh, wow, that's... Okay, we need to take care of... Where is the healers? Rescuer. No, not... Yes, focus on the rescuer. Everyone is a lot higher level than us. Or, well, some of them are. Others aren't. Either way, we need to focus... Not on Fox, you morons. Uh, Tyon's really low, so you need... Oh, I should show off Tyon's Ouroboros form. Tyon's Ouroboros form. Farm? Form. Lurking Spider, which is a burst interlink art. So, at level 3, if everyone is dazed, then... Then you can... Then you have a burst art, which is probably pretty amazing. And uh, Spirit Raven is the, the Healy move. Which is good, because Tyon is is a healer class when he's in Ouroboros form. Where is not Fox? The Rescuer. Yes, please. Do this one. Chef's Heal. We need to kill the Rescuer before Fox gets his uh, target lock skill back on. Okay, Mio and Noah Ouroboros. Very good. Don't want to focus on Fox, the sniper. Yeah, focus on the sniper. That's the next biggest threat. But Fox is apparently doing this. His nonsense nonsense. Maybe we just deal with Fox. No, I don't think that's wise. Again, I want to deal with the sniper. Ah, oh, Mio is down, which is unfortunate. But Lanz and Noah are... Well, Lanz is now not doing good. Oh, Lanz is... Okay, Lanz has now... Okay, our chain attack is nearly full, which is exactly what we want. Once the sniper is down, I'm going to use the chain attack on... On, um, Fox. That should give us plenty of time to defeat him. Presuming, of course, that everyone is alive to make make use of it. Uh, lands it. Okay, blocker, fox. Okay, everyone's alive. We've got the chain attack. Oh, unfortunately, we have Zeon. Uh, let's start with Noah. <laughs> uni. Uni, 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 uni. Absolutely start off with uni. That'll bring us up to, what, 56? Then we can use, we'll do land, get some AoE healing. That'll help, probably. And then we can use Tyon to bring back, to bring back Uni. Does anyone have a break art? No break art. Oh, it doesn't help that we're all pretty much reset on the class level up encounter level table doesn't matter we're like level three or four at this point which is fine which is fine i expect us to win this fight even though it may not necessarily look like that we'll use tie on we'll use uni again get null slash this time very powerful very powerful um We'll do, we'll do, we'll do Zeon this time. Get that Proud Edge going. That's an AoE, so it also affects that uh, other, I believe it's a blocker. Just your generic Keves blocker, but it's fine, it's fine. Even though it's not doing a lot, using Fox will definitely help. We'll definitely use Zeon. We'll do, we'll do Uni, because of course we will. That'll just bring us straight up above over 100%. 116%. 
The power of chain attacks is immense. Utterly immeasurable. Even though it gives us a measure. Oh, I'm glad Uni is the one. Oh, and we want to end with Mio, absolutely. We'll do... We'll do Senna. And then we'll do Mio. Probably shouldn't have used the taunt move, but it's fine. It doesn't actually do any damage. And then we can do... We can do Noah, get some heals, which is good. Bring that up to 99, and then we'll use Uni. Get that overkill, which is very nice. Bring that over 200%. You never should have rose against us. I mean, how dare you give us flowers? As we all know, Mio prefers tulips. Limits unbound. Let's just get this over with. No one cares. We don't need to get maximum damage. We probably should have used our healers now that I think about that. Because wouldn't it be embarrassing if I lost this fight even after getting a chain attack? But again, I don't see it happening. Because Fox is dead. We killed him and now he's dead. Oh my gosh, we're terrible people. It's like he's just one soldier. Why are he's already dead? Oh, apparently it's now reverted to auto-battling, which is fine by me, I suppose. Our interlink level is 3, so if we had a chain attack at this point, we'd be able to start the chain attack with an Ouroboros Ardor. Ardor? Order. Because that is a mechanic that exists. If you do a chain attack at interlink level 3... Ooh, we get to see our burst art. That's fantastic. That's rare to see pretty early on like this. Because we don't have any of our, our characters don't have any burst arts themselves. So we'd have to rely on the Ouroboros level 3 arts, which is finicky at best. You don't often get that. But this fight is officially over and officially won. Which is very good for us. We've stopped them from invading a colony. Ugh. How? By the power of Ouroboros... Why were you going to attack another colony? The shortage of it, shortages have been causing trouble back the colony, right? And who was bearing the brunt of that unrest? The guys at the commissary. I understand being worried about the future. But Camilla's lot shouldn't be the ones to deal with all of that crap. So you were trying to protect her. We've ways of dealing with this issue, Fox. It'll be a while before we see the results, but I promise you, we will break through this. I'm really grateful for the efforts you've gone to for your friends in Colony 9. I'll be waiting to see what happens, Commander. I know. Ch what a faff. There he is. Hey, Fox! Well, look who's coming to see you. Let's go back, shall we? Yeah. Yeah. What a successful round of side quests. We stopped them from attacking a colony. Ah, uh, do we dare? Do we dare? Do we dare? Um, if we do dare, it'll be on the next episode. Otherwise, it'll just be very ominously standing above Uni's head. If I can... Yeah, that's good enough. Uni is very confused at this moment. She's confused about why you're still yammering on about nonsensical things. Either way, either way, this was good. We got some side quests it's done. Next episode will almost certainly be a few more side quests. Maybe around here, maybe in Etia, maybe in Vornis. We might go back to Colony 4, and we might go to Colony 30. Who knows what's going to happen? We might go back to Lambda. Either way, you'll find, about, find out what we end up choosing to do on the next episode. Oh, I'm sure you'll be able to get more plumage either way either way so whether you watched for 30 seconds or the entire thing thank you so much for tuning in and i will see you next time later